Her father, identified as Tony Semogere, is the victim. Residents say he was sleeping in his room on the second floor at 6 a.m. when the building collapsed. Pictures show residents pulling the body from the rubble, still wrapped in bed sheets. A local leader told NTV they felt the building shaking before other occupants evacuated. We are told the victim had drunk some alcohol and was in deep sleep, he says. Semogiri was working for the landlord, renovating his old buildings and had been given accommodation, this witness says. The building had been weakened by rain. The reason some tenants had vacated it, the witness adds. Ibrahim Sekandi, an LC5 councillor representing Seguku in Wakiso District Council, says collapsing buildings are common in Makindye. Government and technical leaders should ensure that building is done in the right way to avoid accidents like this, he says. The police deputy spokesperson, Kampala Metropolitan Area, said they are investigating. Two other tenants survived with injuries and the body of the deceased person was conveyed to the Mochari Mulago. Investigations are on to ascertain what caused the collapse. However, it is alleged the building was old and unfinished. Some residents blamed the accident on wetland encroachment as the structure was reportedly built in a swamp. But there are others who think that the poor drainage in the area causes flooding and the water eats up the structures. 